Hello. Welcome to Math 100, Liberal Arts Mathematics. My name is Professor Saab Matsumoto, and I am a full-time professor here at College of the Canyons. I am so glad that you have signed up to take this class. I know that this is a uh, sort of a difficult uh, challenge because you will have to take this class in a five-week uh, short session, uh, winter of 2021. And by the way, Happy New Year. I hope uh, 2021 will be a year that is hopefully better than 2020. Anyway, um, I want to welcome you and I want to show you a few things uh, concerning this course that you will be taking for the next five weeks. And I hope you will uh, be diligent and in five weeks you will be finished uh, successfully uh, with this course. So let me show you um, a, a couple of things from my syllabus and from my Canvas shell. A more detailed video will be uh, uh, will be available for you as uh, we go through. Uh, I, I will you tell you how to um, how to be successful in the course and what it takes uh, for you to be learning uh, the the lessons of this course. All right, but uh, in this introductory video right now, I will be very brief and uh, pretty much just tell you what's on my syllabus. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I would tell you is that it is very important, uh, since it's an online class, it's very important for you to uh, uh, basically check in with your Canvas shell, like all the time, right? every day, at least, uh, uh, you know, maybe a couple of hours a day, spend some time learning uh, on uh, your Canvas shell. And this is what your Canvas shell looks like when you go to your Canvas login, and when you click on the Math 100 shell, all right, uh, uh, you will be seeing this screen, all right? And this is exactly what it looks like. Uh, now yours, well, actually you, yours will not look exactly like this because this is the, um, this is the view from the uh, instructor's uh, site. And uh, you will see, of course, the student site. But uh, anyway, over here, you will see like all of the assignments and their due dates and everything. And again, uh, in a separate uh, video, I will go over all of these um, components and uh, features very carefully. Uh, in this video, I just want to show you um, first what I look like, you know, uh, nice to meet you, by the way, and also just the syllabus. All right. So if you go to the, um, the very first module, okay, every block like this is called a module. The first one you see is the Welcome to Math 100 module. Uh, and you'll see all sorts of things. You um, Please um, feel free to explore and uh, just click on these things. Um, one of the things you will see, uh, one of the first things you will see in the welcome uh, module is the course syllabus. Now, if you click on this, okay, you will see the PDF version of my uh, course syllabus for this winter session. And of course, you know, feel free to look at it. And if I were you, I would print this out uh, so that you can, you know, have it with you whether you have uh, internet access or not. And it would be a nice reference for you to keep. But what I want to do is to show you the same thing by clicking on this thing here, the menu item syllabus, right? So if you click on this, this is what you will see. The syllabus for Math 100, section 52731. Uh, this is the winter course 2021. And here's my name, my office is there, my phone number, but uh, again, because of the COVID uh, pandemic, I will not be going in or to be using the uh, office phone. The best way to contact me is through this email address or through the Canvas um, communication system. You know, Canvas has a um, um, uh, email or messaging uh, feature that you can use. Um, and then just take a look at, you know, these uh, in the, the other information I have. I do have office hours uh, Monday and Thursday, except for holidays, uh, 9 to 10 a.m. And here's my Zoom ID, okay? You can click on that or you can go ahead and I think the very first item you'll see in the welcome uh, module is my office hours. So you can go into Zoom and um, I will be there from 9 to 10. And by the way, if these days and times are not um, good for you, uh, if you're not available during these hours, please feel free to contact me and I will be happy, more than happy, to uh, set up a uh, individual Zoom session when you can be on Zoom. All right, and then the text and the tools, um, I want you to know, and hopefully this is good news, uh, we, you don't have to spend any money on buying books. Um, this is 
uh, an online free resource, Liberal Arts Mathematics. This is the book that I helped com uh, compile. And so you can um, download this entire thing again from that module, the very first welcome module. All right. Um, just a, br a brief comment on the, a few things in here. You can read about the tests and grading. Again, I will be uh, uh, more specific in the other uh, video that you will be seeing after this. But the grading scheme is here. Uh, grading scale is here. And uh, this lessons and worksheets, let me just briefly tell you what this course is going to contain, right? You will be studying eight chapters, chapter one through chapter eight, all right? Uh, but these are individually wrapped up in these uh, lessons, okay? And so I have 20 and a half, you know, 21 lessons uh, throughout the course. And uh, in the typical week, uh, since you have a five week uh, session, you'll be studying like three to four of these lectures or uh, lessons. All right, and that's what you'll be doing. And I'll tell you what is required for each lesson and so, so on, uh, again, in a separate video. And so this part, I will be going in the details in that second video that you will be watching. Um, and then there is a, a section on how to submit your work online. All right, and this is uh, basically, I'm asking you to file, uh, submit a PDF file as opposed to a photo file. Okay, uh, you can talk about, you can read about how to do well in this course. Basically, the time commitment is the most essential thing. You will have to do your work. Um, so take uh, the plan to spend a significant amount of your winter, January, and the first week of February studying for this class. Okay, without that time commitment, uh, there's really no way for you to acquire all the knowledge that you will need to master in order to um, successfully complete this course. All right, and then you have professional conduct, you know, be nice to each other on the, in the uh, online environment. Uh, we all have to uh, create this learning environment, you know, so um, that, okay. And then I will, I, I finish the syllabus with uh, various resources, the TLC, the Learning Center, it's a very important resource and uh, they will have uh, Zoom office hours so you can get free tutorial services. Uh, we have a uh, disabled uh, student services, the SPNS office here, uh, EOPS, extended opportunity programs and services. Uh, veterans, the, um, the military veterans have their own center called Veterans Center. And I want to emphasize student health and wellness center. Uh, again, this is a free service offered to our current students. Um, you know, concerning physical and mental health. It is very important for you to maintain um, and take care of yourself, um, especially physical and mental health, all right? Because um, without the health, without the, uh, the, well, the well-being, it is really difficult to, um, you know, to keep up with the um, fast-paced class like this one. So make sure you pay attention to uh, the information and take advantage of these free services. All right, and then the last part of this syllabus has a, a daily progress schedule. Now I have, you know, of course this is five days and we basically have 24, uh, uh, five weeks, 24 days because we have a, a one holiday, Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, uh, which is on the 18th of January. And this is just a guideline, okay? You don't have to stick to this every single day, but if you get two or three days behind, I'm telling you, it's really hard to catch up. So try your best to keep up with this um, progress. It's a suggested progress for your daily activity. And then the course summary, uh, you have all the due dates and everything, and uh, you can take a look at this. All right. All right. So like I said, in the next video, you will be seeing, uh, you know, basically all the details of what do you what do you do when you click on that first lesson? What do you expect? And what am I expecting you to do and to turn in for each lesson and so on? All right, so that's about it for this video. Now, it is very important for you to watch all the videos I ask you to watch because that's just like coming to class, right? Especially those lecture videos. Um, think of watching lecture videos uh, like attending class, all right? And if you miss two or three or four class periods, again, it'll be very, very hard for you to learn the material uh, without attending, all right? So that's it, and I hope you'll have a great term, great semester or great winter term, all right? And if you have any questions at any other time or any time, please let me know. Okay, that's it. And uh, have a wonderful day. Take care.